Did you know that thyroid disease can affect much more than just your energy levels and weight? Thyroid disease can impact your joints, leading to conditions like frozen shoulder. In this video, we'll explore how frozen shoulder is linked to thyroid disease and what you can do about it. Frozen shoulder, also known as adhesive capsulitis, is a condition where the shoulder becomes stiff and painful over time. This happens when the capsule of connective tissue, located around the shoulder joint, thickens and inflames, making movement difficult and painful. Typically, a frozen shoulder only occurs in one shoulder joint at a time. Frozen shoulder progresses through three stages. Stage 1 is the freezing stage, where pain and stiffness begin. The pain is most severe in this stage, and is often worse in the outer shoulder area. Stage 2 is the frozen stage, where your mobility is severely limited, and in some cases, nearly immobile. The pain usually lessens during this stage. And stage 3 is the thawing stage, when your range of motion starts to improve as pain decreases. This process can take 1 to 3 years. Frozen shoulder is more common in people over 40, particularly women. It is also seen in people with endocrine disorders, including diabetes and thyroid disease. Immobilizing your arm for an extended period, such as after surgery, also increases the risk. Research shows that people with thyroid disease, especially Hashimoto's and hypothyroidism, are nearly three times more likely to develop frozen shoulder. Inflammation plays a significant role in both conditions, as people with autoimmune thyroid disease often experience inflammation throughout the body, including in the joints. Diagnosing frozen shoulder can be tricky, as its symptoms mimic other shoulder conditions. Doctors will assess your pain and evaluate your shoulder range of motion. They may recommend imaging tests to rule out other issues. Thankfully, frozen shoulder can often be managed with time, medication, and physical therapy. Pain relievers, anti-inflammatories, and, in some cases, corticosteroid injections are used to ease the pain and improve mobility. Physical therapy plays a critical role in maintaining range of motion and helping your shoulder unfreeze. If you have thyroid disease, managing your thyroid health is also fundamental. Taking the proper thyroid medication, complemented by a healthy lifestyle, can help prevent complications like frozen shoulder and improve your overall well-being. Frozen shoulder can be painful and limit your daily activities, but with proper care and management, it can improve. Make sure to optimize your thyroid health and consult your doctor if you experience any shoulder pain. When you take care of your thyroid, you're taking care of your joints. This video has been brought to you by Paloma Health, the nation's leading medical practice dedicated to hypothyroidism care. Learn more at www.palomahealth.com.